primary goal of a narcissist is to maintain power, control, and superiority over others. This is often achieved through manipulation, emotional abuse, and exploitation of others' vulnerabilities. Narcissists have a deep-seated need for attention, admiration, and validation. This is what we call narcissistic supply, and they need narcissistic supply because pathological narcissists have pathologically low self-esteem. They seek to fulfill their insatiable desire for attention, praise, and admiration while disregarding the feelings, needs, and boundaries of others. This can lead them to engage in various tactics such as gaslighting, love bombing, and devaluation to maintain their sense of superiority and to keep others emotionally dependent on them. In essence, their goals revolve around ensuring their own emotional needs are met at the expense of others' well-being. In this lesson, we will share with you 11 of the more common manipulation tactics employed by pathological narcissists. Number one, gaslighting. Gaslighting involves manipulating someone into doubting their own perceptions, memories, or sanity. Narcissists use this tactic to make their victims question their reality and undermine their confidence. The term gaslighting originates from a play and a subsequent movie called Gaslight. Here's the origin of the story. So in 1938, British playwright Patrick Hamilton wrote a play titled Gaslight. The play revolves around a husband who manipulates his wife into thinking she's going insane by dimming the gas lights in their home but denying that the lights are flickering. He makes her doubt her perceptions and memory, leading her to question her sanity. The psychological manipulation was a central theme of the play. The play was adapted into a British film in 1940 and later into a more well-known American film in 1944, both titled Gaslight. In these adaptations, the manipulative husband intensifies his efforts to convince his wife that she is going mad, which became a classic representation of psychological manipulation and emotional abuse. So over time, the term gaslighting has entered the psychological and popular lexicon to describe a form of emotional abuse where a manipulative person seeks to sow seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or group, making them question their own memory, perception, or sanity. Gaslighting erodes the victim's self-confidence and self-esteem. When someone constantly questions their own reality, they become more reliant on the gaslighter for validation and guidance. Narcissists often have a carefully crafted public image. Gaslighting helps them maintain this facade by ensuring that their manipulative behavior remains hidden and any accusations made by the victim are dismissed as unfounded. It is important for victims of gaslighting to recognize the manipulation and trust their own perceptions. Manipulation tactic number two is love bombing and devaluation. Love bombing is an excessive display of affection and attention used to overwhelm the victim in the initial stages of the entanglement. It creates a dependency on the narcissist for emotional validation. After idealizing the victim, narcissists devalue them by criticizing, belittling, or demeaning their thoughts, feelings, and actions. This tactic further erodes the victim's self-esteem. For example, they may use sarcasm, mockery, or jokes at the victim's expense to demean and belittle them. This tactic is designed to undermine the victim's self-worth. Manipulation tactic number three is the silent treatment. Narcissists use silence as a tool to punish and control their victims. 
by ignoring the victim, they create anxiety and a desperate need for validation. Narcissists may use the silent treatment as a way to punish their victims for perceived wrongs, even if these perceived wrongs are minor or imagined. It's a way to make the victim feel guilty, creating emotional distress and insecurity. By withholding communication and emotional connection, narcissists exert control over the situation. The victim becomes anxious, trying to figure out what they did wrong to warrant the silent treatment, allowing the narcissist to maintain control and dominance. Additionally, instead of engaging in difficult conversations or taking responsibility for their actions, narcissists use the silent treatment to evade accountability. It allows them to avoid discussing the problem that is at hand. The silent treatment feeds the narcissist's ego. It provides them with a sense of power, superiority, and importance. Seeing the victim's distress can bolster their self-esteem, reinforcing their belief in their own importance. Manipulation tactic number four is triangulation. Triangulation is a manipulative tactic used by individuals with narcissistic personality traits to create jealousy, rivalry, and insecurity among people in their relationships. Triangulation involves introducing a third party, either real or imagined, into the dynamic of a relationship, causing the original individuals to compete for attention, affection, and approval. Introducing another person into the dynamic, especially if the new person is a source of admiration or affection, can boost the narcissist's ego. It reaffirms their belief in their desirability and power over others. Additionally, triangulation can divert attention from the real issues in the relationship. Instead of addressing problems, the victim becomes preoccupied with competing for the narcissist's attention, allowing the narcissist to avoid accountability. Number five is projection. Narcissists project their negative qualities onto others, blaming the victim for behaviors and traits that actually apply to the narcissist. This tactic deflects accountability and confuses the victim. Manipulation tactic number six is hoovering. As previously explained, hoovering is an attempt to suck the victim back into the abusive relationship after a period of discard using various manipulation tactics. Narcissists thrive on attention, admiration, and emotional reactions from others, known as narcissistic supply. When their current supply sources are low or unavailable, they might hoover past victims to obtain the attention and emotional reaction that they crave. Successfully hoovering a person back into a relationship can provide a significant ego boost for the narcissist. It reaffirms their perceived power and control over others. Manipulation tactic number seven is playing the victim. Narcissists often portray themselves as victims seeking sympathy and validation. They exaggerate or fabricate stories of mistreatment to gain support and divert attention from their abusive behavior. By portraying themselves as victims, they can manipulate others into feeling sorry for them, which can lead to people offering help, support, and forgiveness. By presenting themselves as victims of circumstances or other people's actions, narcissists can justify their own harmful behavior. They may argue that they were compelled to act a certain way because of the perceived victimization. Manipulation tactic number eight is exploiting your empathy. Narcissists exploit the empathy of their victims, manipulating their compassion and kindness to meet their needs. They feign vulnerability to evoke caretaking behavior. Number nine, guilt tripping. 
Narcissists use guilt as a weapon, making the victim feel responsible for the narcissist's emotional state or problems. This tactic includes a sense of obligation and compliance. Guilt is a powerful emotion, and by making someone feel guilty, the narcissist can control their behavior and choices. It forces the person to act in a way that aligns with the narcissist's desires, needs, or whims. Narcissists struggle with taking responsibility for their actions. By making others feel guilty, they deflect attention away from their behavior, making it difficult for the victim to address the real issues. Manipulation tactic number 10 is intermittent reinforcement. Providing rewards and punishment inconsistently creates a sense of unpredictability. The victim becomes conditioned to seek the narcissist's approval, leading to emotional dependence. Finally, manipulation tactic number 11 is threats and intimidation. Narcissists may use threats of violence, uh, legal action, or social consequences to instill fear and compliance in their victims. In order to stop abuse, we must be able to see it. Hence, recognizing these manipulation tactics is crucial for individuals dealing with narcissistic abuse. Awareness empowers victims to establish boundaries, seek support, and eventually break free from the cycle of manipulation and control. Distance from the narcissist allows you to gain clarity and perspective on the toxic dynamics of the relationship. It also provides an opportunity to reflect on the patterns of abuse, manipulation, and gaslighting that may have been normalized during the relationship. As we conclude our journey through the twisted paths of manipulation and control, always remember the words of the great Maya Angelou. When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Armed with knowledge, you are better equipped to recognize the tactics of narcissistic abusers. By understanding their strategies, you've taken a vital step towards reclaiming your power and breaking free from their hold. Thank you so much again for joining us on this enlightening exploration. Stay vigilant, stay strong, and remember, while knowledge is your greatest shield against manipulation, you must apply this knowledge so that it becomes wisdom. Until next time, good people, take care and stay empowered, and I'll see you in the next lesson.